The City of Richmond is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and has outlined how in this Community Energy Emissions Plan. This plan is a roadmap for climate action that's going to help Richmond achieve its uh, deeper emission reduction targets. So 50% reduction from 2007 levels by 2030 and effectively decarbonizing the entire city by 2050. Eight key areas are targeted, including enhancing the city's green infrastructure, providing more frequent transit, and the circular economy. The circular economy is coming with a new approach, introducing new ideas and strategies beyond recycling. When we are buying things and we are using things, we are thinking about how materials flow in our economy. Public transit is essential in reducing GHG emissions. Richmond's strategy is to provide more frequency and integrate active transportation options such as walking, cycling and car sharing networks. So we want to make sure that those things are really easy for people to do so you can move sustainably, not only in Richmond, but throughout the region. Richmond's plan also highlights the climate benefits of enhancing the city's green infrastructure, as well as protecting the carbon-rich peat soils they have below ground. Keeping this carbon intact will help limit GHG emissions. One thing that's unique about this uh, the city is below ground we have massive amounts of sequestered carbon in the form of buried peat soils. This plan lists key actions and a timeline to effectively reach net zero emissions by 2050. These steps will also improve Richmond's resiliency and support the city's affordability and sustainability goals. The plan itself is a way to address that and say we recognize climate change is happening. It's serious, but don't worry, we have a plan of action.